class, welcome. This is Teen Coders and I am Christy Madu and I will be your tutor. So our topic for today is decomposition. With decomposition, you would learn how to break your problems into smaller parts and be able to solve your problems quite easier. So now what is decomposition? Decomposition simply means breaking the big problem into smaller parts. Did you get that? So decomposition means breaking big problems into smaller parts. Now, have you been in a situation where your mom asks you to clean your room? How do you go about that? You know, to clean your room, you need to break it into smaller parts for you to be able to successfully clean everything. So, how do you go about that? Can someone tell me? Okay. All right. Okay. That's a nice one. Okay, so let's take that all together. What are the parts you need to clean your room? Someone said you can arrange your bed. Another person says to arrange your shoes. Okay, you said to arrange your toys. That's a good one. Okay, then sweep the floor. Okay, with that, you see that if you bring everything together, you are able to arrange your bed able to arrange your shoes, able to arrange your books, able to arrange your toys, sweep your floor, you'll find out that you've solved the problem of cleaning your room. That's just a way of using decomposition method. Okay, so another example, most of us are, um, have school parties. Now, you're being asked as the president of your school to take care of a school party that is coming up. What are the parts you need to follow for you to make this event successful? We can't just have an event. There are some parts we need to follow. So, who can let me know? Okay. All right. Good example. Mm, okay. That can work. That's very good. So let's take it together. What are the parts we need to follow? We can arrange the venue. What venue will we use? Are we going to use the school compound? Are we going to use a house? What exactly are we going to use? Okay, that's important. Yes, the time. That is also very, very important what to wear, that's the dress code, everybody cannot come wearing different things, okay. All right, the refreshments, I like to eat and drink, okay. So what else? The sound, that's the MC, we need the photographer, that will also double as our video man, so we have pictures and videos of our beautiful day. So you see, we were able to bring all this together, we were able to bring all these parts together. We find out that we are, we've just been able to solve the problem of creating an event for our end of year party. Okay, so in computing, this is not so much different. We still follow the same parts in computing. So whenever I'm teaching my students, how to create a game. We first of all break everybody into groups. We break everybody into groups. So the first group says the story. The second group talks about the characters that we're going to use. The other group are the ones that we design the environment. That is, if we want our game to be in the water, we want it to be on land, we want it to be on air, that group will take care of it. Another group will be the ones to illustrate the story. That's, they'll be the ones to finally test the story. And then another group will be the ones to program the story. They'll be the ones to tell us, okay, you know, whenever you have to put in a code, I want this to move at this time, where those are our programmers, so we have a group for them. And then the group finally that will test the game and say, yes, this game is good. So with that, together in class, we are always able to um, 
create new games and test out in the class right there it's not so difficult right okay so with this we've come to the end of our lesson for today but before we close off can someone remind me what the topic of the day was good the composition and what did we define the composition as what is the composition good the composition means breaking big problem into smaller parts can you say that to me breaking big problems into smaller parts good can someone give me an example of using the composition to solve a problem good she said she wants to have a birthday party and she needs to arrange it so it can be successful that's a good example so using the composition method she would be able to break it into several parts and be able to solve those parts separately okay so with this i'm going to give you your assignment the first assignment you have a party coming up or you have a school event coming up and you are required to get a costume how do you get your costume how do you get it ready what are the parts you would follow to get your costume ready for your school party so i need that and then secondly you also let me know how to build a cartoon i like cartoons my favorite cartoon is spongebob so you are going to create your own cartoon so what are the parts you're going to follow to create this cartoon i will be expecting your answers in the email below don't forget to like subscribe and comment i'll see you in the next class and up to then be safe and for more information you can check us out on www.tincoders.com.ng have a nice day